Hello and welcome to Wee Willy Wonderful's uh, video tutorial for Alfred the Lion's feet. Uh, I'm doing a tutorial for this particular part because it's new, it's something we haven't done before on the previous animals. Uh, there is also a tutorial for Alfred's mane to make it easier to show how to attach that. And in this particular video, so we're going to show you how to do a chain to make the legs. Now, this is the part in the pattern that we're going to be looking at. So it's not his arms, which you call them the pattern, it's the legs. So we're going to be making this bottom shape. The reason it's done in a different way is because it's quite an oval shape, so we can't really achieve that with the magic circle. Um, so we need to do it a slightly different way. But of course, the videos are far easier to follow than um, than just trying to explain it on a on a pattern. I'll move Alfred out of the way for now, just so he's not not in the way. So we're going to start. Um, it says legs make two, beginning at the paw, which is the obviously the end of the foot, using cream. So here's our cream wool. So I'm going to grab the end, so you can work from the outside of the ball, or you can pull the strand from the middle with these. Um, cakes of wool that we do because uh, either will work just fine. So instead of the usual magic circle, I'm going to start with the chain. So the way to do this is we need to make a slip knot. If you haven't made this before, then I will show you how to do it. So we circle it over like so. So we have a loop. And then I'm just going to put this end, which goes to the ball of wool, behind the loop. And then I'm just going to pull it through like so, and that is a slip knot. We can pull this strand and alter it just so that it's the size to fit on our crochet hook. Just so if it's snug, don't pull it really tight, don't have it loose, just somewhere in the middle. And that is a slip knot. So this is where we start our chain. Now the chain stitch is one of the first that you often learn in crochet, so it's quite simple once you've got the hang of it. All we do to chain is wrap the wool that leads to our ball, which is this part, around and forward so we have it looped around and then we will just pull hook the wool and pull it through like so and it gives you a little V and that is one stitch that is classed as one chain so we're going to do that again so we're going to wrap it around the back and over the top and pull it through so don't have it really loose don't have it really tight just in the middle Two, so that's two chains. So round the back and pull through. Three, round the back and pull through. Four, round the back and pull through. Five, six, seven, eight. So we have now completed eight chains. So we can count them from the top. We don't count the loop on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we don't count the little knot at the bottom. That's just our slip knot. That is not a stitch. So we now have eight chains on our hook, which is what the pattern tells us to, to do. So chain eight. And the next part is starting the second chain from the hook. Um, so I'm going to place my marker just to make it a little easier. So I'm going to place my marker on the very last stitch is here. I'm going to place it on that side because we'll be working round the chain. We're going to work down one side, around the end, and then we're going to work back up the other side. So it's like having a central line and then we're going to work round in an oval shape all the way around. So I'm going to pop my marker on there because that's going to be the last stitch that's so on the, the right hand side. And we can't really, it'd be very difficult to work into here. If we worked into the stitch nearest, we'd actually be undoing our last chain. So the second chain from the hook, so not the one here, the next one. And what we have to do is we have to work in that side of the chain. We can't work in both like we would in a normal double crochet because we'd just be kind of working under it. So we have to just work through one strand here. So this is not our first stitch, so we're going to work in the next one. So we're going to go in there and then just do a double crochet as normal. So we'll read again line two, starting the second chain from the hook. And we're doing six double crochets to start. 
So our normal double crochet, so through and over. Oops, that's popped off there. And then we're going to go into the next one. So again, we're just working in one strand. Pull through and over. This is a normal double crochet, which you should know from the other videos. So that's number three. Four. Five. Six. As you can see, we're just working down one side toward the end. And there are some helpful photographs on the leaflet, which I will show you. Um, that shows the initial chain, then it shows working down one side, so it's upside down, so we worked down one side, and then the next picture shows back up to the marker again, we've worked in a complete circle. So it just helps you visually to see, see how that works. So we've done six double crochets, so now we're up to the last stitch. Um, so it could, because we're not working in that end part, because that is the slip knot. So this is our last one. So we're going to do three double crochet in the last stitch. Now what we're trying to do is work around the end so it's nice and smooth. So we're going to do one double crochet in there, two, and we're going to do a third one. What I like to do, you can just work three in there, but you can kind of push this end back out of the way and then working it so it's, we're working down the other side. So we're going to do our third one, it's a little bit fiddly. Working in the same hole again, do it accidentally work in the knot. So we're going to work in the other, in there, back in the same hole. Push that strand toward the back. Because this part facing you, that is the front of the work. And then the back, you can see, looks slightly different. And that has the strand there. So this is the front of the work. You can see the stitches down the side much clearer on the front. So we have done three in the last stitch. And then it says continue working around the end of the chain and along the opposite side. We don't count this stitch that we've just worked in, even on the other side, because we've already worked that stitch. So now we're going to continue down the other side um, with down the side with six double crochets so again we're working in just this side so just one strand each the way around so we're going to start here so one two three four just get a little bit fiddly if you're not sure count how many stitches you have toward the end five six. It is quite awkward to see which of your stitches until you get used to it to just persevere and if you're in doubt which is your next stitch count backwards from the end. Our next instruction is to work three double crochet in the final stitch which is the one that we placed our marker in at the beginning so now it's nice and easy to see which is the last one that's why it's a good idea to place that straight away as soon as you've done your chain. So we're going to be working here and it's three double crochets so we're going to do three in the same stitch. On previous videos for the bunnies and the giraffes um, we have quite often done an increase which is two double crochet in the stitch but occasionally obviously it calls for three. It's because we're increasing more stitches to go around the bend. If you only did one in the end we would find it was quite tight and puckered at the end that's why we're doing three. So once we've done our three we will move our marker, take that out Pop it into the, the stitch behind us. That's our last stitch. And now we're going to be working back around again in a circle. But this time, because we have a proper stitch here now, we can work under both, just like we knew with a normal double crochet. So we can work under both loops. The only reason we did the one loop is because it was a chain and it's literally got one loop down each side. So now we're just working them as normal, going under both sides of the, the V. And we're going to look at what our next instruction is. Our line three is to do seven double crochet, an increase times two. So we're going to do an increase, then another increase, seven double crochet, an increase, and an increase. Um, if in doubt, if you're struggling to work it out, you can work out by the numbers. We had 18 stitches. We're going up to 22. So we're going to be increasing four stitches in this round. So we're doing an increase here. 
twice and an increase here twice. That's where the extra four stitches come from. So I'll run through that round with you. So we're going to do seven. So seven double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you think your increases are going to be on both ends because we're expanding the ends, so we go around to keep the bottom of the foot nice and flat. So now we're at the end, we're going to do two increases. So we're going to do an increase is two stitches in one. So we're going to do two stitches in that stitch. That's our first increase. Two stitches in the next one. So that's our second increase. And then on the pattern, it's another seven double crochet as normal. So one in each stitch. So two three, four. If you don't know how to do double crochets, um, then it would be better to start with the bunny or the giraffe because they have a full tutorial right the way through, right from the beginning, how to read the pattern, going all the way through, showing how to make them. Um, these line video tutorials are, are simply to, to cover the parts, that the stitches that are new to us. And then we're going to do two more increases. So that would be two stitches this stitch and then two in our last stitch. It does look a bit tricky so if you find you're a stitch out or something then you can do an extra increase if you want extra miss an increase. It's not an exact science. The main thing that we're trying to achieve is to keep it flat and to be doing our increases at both ends. So if you find you, you get to here and you think oh it's an increase next keep going and just do the increases at the end so it's a nice flat shape. And the next line is eight double crochets, then an increase, sorry, two increases, then 10 double crochet and two increases. The reason the numbers are changing here is I have worked it out because as we're working around, we're slightly further round now. So we're doing eight to get to the bottom and then 10 to get back round. So don't worry that the numbers aren't nine and nine. That has been worked out correctly to make sure you get the best shape. So eight double crochet, two increases, 10 double crochet, and then two increases and the rest of the sole of the foot continues in the same manner so I will leave you to carry on with that um, and then we will be changing to gold yarn which is this one at the so the gold at the end of the line five and then we're going to be doing a back loop only double crochet which there are instructions for that in previous videos um, and then you can continue with the leg from there. So hopefully that will help to show, <coughs> excuse me, how to do a chain and how to work around. But as always, if you get stuck with anything, you don't understand my video tutorials, um, do drop me a message because I'm quite happy to do an extra video or show you something extra that you're not sure about. And thank you for now and good luck making your lion and I hope you absolutely love him. Thank you. Goodbye.